Hello, my name is Dr. Monique L. Akasi, and today I will be sharing with you how to set up your own website for free. In particular, this is ideal for writing e-portfolios. And so we're going to go through the step-by-step -step process. It's very simple and very easy. So first, you want to go to www.wordpress.com. Once you get to wordpress.com, um, you want to make sure that you go in and register for a free website, okay? You want to make sure that you register for a free website. And when you register for a free website, they're going to ask you to put in your um, name um, and your email address and go ahead and do that and then check your email to confirm to activate the account. Once you're in, always make sure that you click this W in the upper left-hand corner of the page. That will give you access to designing and preparation for what the public will see. Then it will eventually prompt you, it may prompt you, um, or it may not prompt you to, the, to do this step. My site is called, I'm just going to just call it Sample ePortfolio site. Okay, then I'll click continue. And when I do that, um, it is going to populate a website address for you. If you don't like that particular, if it's too many numbers, like this says 3610 is too many, you can always click the go back button and you can come up with something more original. Um, so I'm just going to put Dr. A's, uh, Dr. A sample a portfolio, um, and see what that comes up with. And as you can see, it's more, uh, the website address that's free is more simplified. Dr. A sample e portfolio.wordpress.com. So that's what I want. I'm going to click it because it's free and then I'll click continue. Then it will prompt you to go to a choose design uh, site. All of these are free templates, right? And so just choose one. You can always go back and edit again. I'm just going to choose this one because it looks scholarly. Um, so I'll choose this one and I'll just click uh, continue. You can always change the pay, the pictures and so forth. Then it will prompt you, do you want to add a store, image storage, video storage? We don't need any of that. We're going to click skip for now. And then it's going to prompt you, do you want to pay anything? And we don't. So we want to scroll all the way down to the $0 option. Select. Now, we're building our site. Once we're in the site, it is vitally important. Um, you can click the visit site button over here in the upper right hand corner, just to see what your site looks like. It looks very nice. As you can see, I put the Dr. A sample e-portfolios at the top. Um, again, you can change images here. We can get into the aesthetics of that here in a little bit, but one of the most important things that I want you to make sure that you realize is, see this pink button that says launch site? Make sure you launch the site. And then it's going to ask you again for money, but just click skip purchase. And then it's going to ask you one more time to choose a plan, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to click here, start with the free site. Okay, so once you're in, now you need to create the tabs that will go across the uh, top of your website page so that when visitors come to your page, they can click on each tab and visit each page. So 
how we will do that to make sure that we um, have access. We're going to go to appearance and then we will go down to menus. So again, always click the W in the upper left-hand corner. That'll give you to the back screen. So I clicked on W, then appearance, then menus. Then I wanna click primary menu. And then I wanna click add items. This will allow me to add new pages. So I'm clicking add new pages. I want to have my dear reader letter. Okay. And I will add that. I already have a home page, but the dear reader letter. And I want to add, perhaps I'll just say essay number one or breakthrough narrative or whatever essay you were working on. Rough drafts and final revised drafts can go in there. And then essay number two, uh, whatever that is, um, or project, you can add. And then your essay number three, because there should be a total of three for the semester. Okay, and so now we have everything we need. Notice how it's not in chronological order over here, but you can always uh, just check to the right and I see it is in chronological order. But just in case you want to rearrange, you can always rearrange, uh, reorder by clicking on this reorder button and it will allow you to move items up or down Okay, but I want my essay three to be down at the bottom in chronological order. So I will do that now. Okay, so now we see home, dear reader, le reader letter, essay one, essay two, essay three. I will save changes. Okay. Now I'm going to exit out and I just want to visit my site to see what it looks like now. Looks good, great, okay. Now you can always go in and edit on this page. Doyle and Doyle Attorneys of Law, see down here in the far right-hand corner, edit. I'm going to click edit so that I can change that. So I'll change Doyle and Doyle to perhaps Dr. Akasi's writing portfolio. Okay. And then maybe I'll change this to my, uh, um, let's see, the writing journey. You can customize it as much as you like. And then I'll click update. Okay, I can also change all of this verbiage down here. Okay, I can even change this image. Um, and all I have to do to change it is just click on the picture and I can click replace and I can upload the photo and then find out which photo I want to upload, okay, I have so many photos here. I don't know which one, um, okay. So I'll pick this one. And now I have my picture, okay. And then I can always delete all of this and I can just put welcome. Okay, all of that did not disappear. So I'm just going to click remove blocks. Okay. And then I'm just going to put welcome to my website. Welcome to my website. The purpose for this um, e-portfolio is to showcase my journey as a writer and scholar. Okay. So I can just put something like that. And I may just put enjoy, okay. And then click update, okay. These are just the aesthetics, 
and I click view page. Now you see Dr. Akazi's writing portfolio, very nice picture of me. Welcome to my website. I can also, again, go back in and edit all of this stuff. I'll do that later, okay? But I'm gonna move back up here and I'm gonna go back. Remember, when you wanna make changes, just go to the W and now we're going to go to um, the pages that we have and click all pages. Whenever you wanna go in to edit, just click on the W and then pages, click all pages. So for instance, click on the three dots and then you can edit. And so here I can type in the white space, please see my dear reader letter below and you can also click on the link to download um, the letter. Okay, so you have the option, you can copy and paste your essays, your letters, your writings in here. And you can also insert and you can add images. So I'm just going to add an image here. You can add images. So I'm just going to put this round of uh, this part right here. Uh, so you can add images and you can add files to upload your files, okay? So I'm just going to upload this. Just an image that I want, perhaps is close to the theme that I'm working with. And then if I want to upload a file to make it a hyperlink, I just click on the plus button and click browse all and find file. And then you can upload and find out where you saved your, uh, your essay. I'm just going to put click this one, just real simple. Okay, and then when you do that, just click update and it can, it will appear here, but it can also, if this download button will allow you, allow the reader to download it. Okay, so when I view the page, let's go back and view my website page now. So now my website page, the Dear Reader Letter page looks like this. Pretty neat, right? And I can download and retrieve my paper. Okay, but we're gonna go back to the home page. okay? So that's how you do it. Again, um, whenever you want to edit any of your pages, just click on the W and then click on pages, all pages. You'll see all the pages you created, click the three dots to edit, okay? And again, whenever you find yourself um, where you can't see the tabs at the top of your page, um, you can always go back into the menu, okay? Go back into the menu, so just go back to W, and then click on appearance and click on menus. So W appearance menus, make sure it's set to primary, okay? And then you can always, again, you can always add items, okay? Uh, primary menu, yes. Primary or primary menu, click add items, and that's where you can type new pages and just click each one. It's very important, make sure you click each one so that you'll see a check, like here, a check. And then save changes, okay? But I already have duplicates of that, so, uh, so I don't want to duplicate it, all right? Okay, all right, so we are all set and we have a beautiful website. Um, let me just share with you how to embed the video really quickly and then you're set. So I'm just going to put it, for instance, say for instance, 
under essay two, you had a video presentation. Always upload your video to YouTube and then copy and paste uh, the YouTube video. Okay. So for instance, I'm just going to pull a random YouTube video of mine. Well, actually, say for instance, this was yours. Lullaby, lullabies for dogs to sleep too. <laughs> One of my dogs. Virginia, favorites. this election is going to come okay. down to turnout. We can't sit on. Uh, so. I'd like. Here we go. And you know, YouTube, they have the videos that they play. Um, so you should be able to skip ad. And then here's the lullaby video. Say for instance, this was your video or something that helped inspired or uh, helped generate ideas for your essay. You can paste right here. All I did was copy the web site for the YouTube and paste it in the white space. And there we have it. The video is already embedded. Okay. So home, dear reader letter, essay one could go here, just edit, essay two here, essay three. Um, again, for all of you right now, you're just doing the home, welcome people to your page, your dear reader letter that focuses on strengths and weaknesses of your essay and project assignments so far. If you're not finished with something, just merely write that uh, I haven't started on this particular project or essay yet. However, I plan to dot, 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 dot. Okay. That's for essay two, if you're not complete or the, pro or, or the project, whichever one you're working on. Essay three will come after uh, midterm. So there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. And now you know how to create a website. If you have any questions, you can contact me anytime um, at drmoniqueacossi at gmail.com. That's dr period monique, M-O-N-I-Q-U-E, A-K-A-S-S-I at gmail.com. Thank you very much, my college students and to the global public community that may be watching as well. Until next time, have a great day.